taking your ship's captain. Hey, Captain. Up in space. I never thought I'd be able to say that. Oh, that was pretty cool, huh? Look, look, I, it's, it's space. <laughs> For the record, I've never been to space either. Just would like you guys to know that. That's not the point. This hack would just knock out one of my workers. Yeah, with a toss ball stick, I heard you the first time. There weren't any witnesses. No witnesses? He's not even denying it. Jackass had it coming. Shut it, Felix. You're not making this any better. You get cute with me again, you little back bay brat, I will toss you out an airlock. This is the groundbreaker, not Byzantium. You ain't the law here. I am. Now move along. I don't have time for this. I need a drink. Oh, I'm gonna go get a drink with that guy. Just arrived? Head over to customs. Wheeler needs to process you. Going for a stroll around the docking base? A little bit. What's up, dude? What you doing? No, you were in the middle of an argument. Sure was. Got a knack for upsetting the board and the Mardettes all at once. Between you and me, I was hoping they'd come to fisticuffs. I'd like to hear your side. What happened? I heard you knocked someone out with a toss ball stick. It's almost like you want to get arrested. Yeah, because I knocked my foreman out with a toss ball stick. But, to be fair, I wasn't the one who started it. The guy was insulting my Rizzo's Rangers. He it was Look, insulting your sports team. If it's a team. crime to defend your favorite toss ball team against slander and calumny... Well, then lock me right up. That's a bit of an overreaction. You wouldn't be saying that if you'd been there. I would be. You... Guy never liked me. Always trying to get a rise out of me. But I keep my chin up, right? Be the bigger man, I tell myself. Uh-huh. He's a spacer's chosen man, though. So when the chosen beat my rangers the other night, my foreman comes swaggering up <laughs> with his head full of boasting. Dude, who cares? And that's when he resolved your distance, uh, differences like an adult, right? That's when I broadsided him with a toss ball stick. Yeah. Look, this was a long time coming. Guy thinks he can push me around because he's some sky-high foreman, and I'm just a back bay's dock worker. Well, former dock worker. Guess I just tendered my resignation. Uh-huh. You're just lucky you're not serving a sentence. You know something? I am lucky. I ought to raise a glass of zero-g to my fortune. If I had the bits. I'll give you some bits. Hey, not for nothing. But I saw you wander out of that ship over there by the dock. Wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? It is. It's called the Unreliable. Captain of the Unreliable. You're like something out of a serial drama. Hey, I don't want to talk your ears off, guessing you got places to be. I appreciate your time. Wow. I never caught your name. I'm Z Swiggs. Felix Millstone. Pleased to make your acquaintance. See you around, Felix. See you around, boss. That's right, I'm the boss! You hear that, Pavarti Cheese? She call, he called me the boss. What, well, you don't like the name of my ship? Right this way. Hello, sir! Where's that vending machine? Here it is. Sell. Junk. Okay, bye. Um, used to pick locks. You cannot purchase this restricted stock. Why? Without a security rating of A5. I need a security rating of A5. How do I do that? Where's security? Is that is that a thing? Yeah, unlock access to restricted items and vending machines at 40. Okay, I want to get that. I want to get that. Is this vending machine different? Bullets. Oh, this one sells guns. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. So when I level up, I'm going to put it all into hack. 
Identification, please. My name is Bill Billy. Present Hawthorne's ID. Here you go. My name's Z Swigs. My first time here. Um, let me give him the captain ID. Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. Why? According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. What in tarnation? But we've hardly been out of Edgewater long enough to get in trouble. Now, hold on. This isn't the end of the world. Probably. So I'm stuck here? I take it back. I'm not Hawthorne and that isn't my ship. How do I get this resolved? You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford. Our board oh, representative. Oh no, here it's on the moron from the computer thing. As long as it's along the starboard wall of the promenade, shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. He's gonna be very upset. Just the opposite. The board knows we don't take. When I'm not Hawthorne. In our operations here. They must have a real big bee in their bonnets then. Everyone knows you don't trifle with Groundbreaker if you want to get your goods on time. If I had to take a guess as to why. You probably riled up the wrong petty board bureaucrat. A man named Udom Bedford. Yeah, got, I got it. Great, I'll talk to him and straighten this out. You take the starch out of him, well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Sure. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay, tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. Okay. Got it. Much appreciated. Yeah, no problem, dude. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah, give me money. Looking for someone named Gladys. Can you find a job around here? What can you tell me about Udon Bedford? Seems like there's some tension between the board and the groundbreaker. Um, I'm looking for someone named Gladys. No fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Okay. Looking for a drink. Any recommendations? Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder. Straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera. She'll set you right. Dude, this is really cool. Got it. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. Um, seems like there's some tension between the port and the Groundbreaker. You noticed, huh? Um... <laughs> I'm sharp like that. What can I say? We're passionate folks, and the board can't abide that independent spirit Especially not when it might impact their bottom line. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments anytime we like, and that terrifies them. Hmm, okay. I'm glad it terrifies them, the bastards keep pushing them. It's a delicate balance, right? We could cancel their freighter's docking privileges in retaliation, but where'd that lead us? They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in 10 trillion little pieces. Or they cobble together a new groundbreaker and put us out of business. The board wouldn't do that, would they? It's a tough line to walk, no doubt about that. But we may do all right, so far anyway. Um, can I find a job around here? Maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board. That is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. Okay. How does Halcyon uh, Holdings work, anyway? Are you pulling my leg? I'm new around here. I just want to hear your take on it. Goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That group's what we now call the board. Okay. The board runs most of the system, doesn't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. Hmm. So there's actually a board run somewhere with all these company heads in it? Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. 
Okay, got it. Glad to help. Um, I don't think there were many independent operators in the system. What do you know about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. <laughs> Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Okay. I don't think there are many independents already. That's all I need to know about work. All right. Um, can you tell me about Udon Bedford? I don't care. All right. Be See seeing ya. you. I know a lot about Udon. We read about him on the thing. All right. So big door. A lot of people here. Okay, so head in through here. I picked up this weird signal the other day. It was coming from Monarch. Here we go again. No one lives on Monarch. It's a wasteland. You are hearing things. No, seriously. There was a lot of static at first, but then this voice said his name was Graham? Graham, right. Sweet. Broadcasting on a dead world full of monsters. Now I've heard everything. Huh. You know, it takes more muscles to frown than to smile. Who told you that, Graham? Asshole. Are these steel? Yeah, steel, steel. Hi. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. The board would like to remind spacers and other travelers that passage to Monarch is restricted for your protection. Yeah, I knew that. Canyons of acid and sulfur rain are the least of the horrors plaguing the surface of Monarch. Anarchists live Best as one with the animals, lost, savage, and unemployed. The board's embargo ensures that nothing can leave the planet and threaten our hard-working citizens. Uh, okay. I don't really care about Tosspaw. People this love Tosspaw. Okay, I need to go to this person who is apparently on the floor below me? Holographic disguise activated. Your holographic shroud is activated, giving you temporary access to the restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy. When time runs out, personnel will see you and interrogate you. Talk your way out of interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out the more you're interrogated. Okay. Okay. So am I literally invisible, or...? Plasma rifle. Heck yeah, dude. Cool. I'm guessing that plasma rifle is going to be useful. Let's try going. Hello. Let's try going up, I guess? I'm actually trying to go down, but. I don't like jump. I like parkour my way up here. here shortly. Okay, 
so it's got to be through customs. There's got to be stairs or something. advertisement for the following story do you have what it takes to defend your corporate bard how do I get down there maybe I've got to go maybe I've got to go through that door I mean he's still a hundred meters away so I'm just being a dunderhead. Ooh, can we rent an upstairs room? Sure, lady. Hey, you, I got something Bless I need to say. my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Look, lady, I'm just doing a favor. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store-bought. That sounds horrible, lady. Um, Phineas sent me, he said you could sell me a nav key to Stellar Bay? Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Oh yeah, who cares? Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now. I only have the one nav key, and they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. How much is it? Ten thousand bits? Any chance of a discount? Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Okay, calm down, all right? Thanks for your time. Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. I like the lady gives me candy. All right, hold on. If you're here for this week's magazine club... Let me see, uh... Let me see how much money I actually have. Want a copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub? She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Okay, um... I have 6,000 bits. I think even if I sold everything, it wouldn't be enough. Although there's a lot of this. This mod stuns and damages melee attackers. Oh, that's pretty sweet, though. Yeah, but I'm not going to put it on armor right now. I'm going to sell this right now. Sell. What is the big green tractor? Those are just there. If you have a lot of points and you want to flex, they have a lot of points. Like, maybe you don't care about the stuff that actually is, you know, there. Like, maybe you don't want to ride on the whiteboard, but you got all these points. Buy yourself a tractor. Can I sell this back to her? That's hilarious. I'm going to do that. Here. I don't want this. Take, some, take it back. All right. Um, value. I'm saving for five mil. I don't know, man. Tractor might help you with that. I don't think I've ever shopped this vendor. Advanced defensive helmet. 
Wait, how do I see what it's like compared to my current helmet? You could also get the Triforce, man. Yeah, there you go. Well. See, all these things I already own, so. Is this a fancy pink outfit? I'm going to be honest, that was probably a really stupid thing to do. But look at how great she looks, chat. Look at her. Look at her. She looks great. Absolutely worth it. She went from 9 to 18, and 9 to 18, I doubled it. Look at her, she looks fantastic. Okay, no regrets. What am I at? Nine and seventeen. Wonder if I should buy some. Armor. Nah. I'm just gonna keep what I got right now. She looks great. I mean, look at her. Fantastic. Okay, um, before I do the main quest, I'm going to go talk to her real quick. Where's the sick bay? Right here. Oh my god, look at all these safes. Unlock with keys. <clears throat> hey, uh, just, uh, just chill right there, okay? <clears throat> Rest and go key card. Okay. Rest and go key card. <clears throat> okay. Um. Halcyon Bay. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Definitely didn't steal anything. I'm not going anywhere. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. Excuse me. Uh, patient experiences unusual side effects post-hibernation after his last voyage. Complains of longer days and increased boredom, as if time itself is slowing down. I've never seen complications this severe, and prescribing a high dosage of stims. While I'm optimistic I can address the symptoms, the cause still troubles me. I'm going to try reaching out to conveyor crews and some corporate documents I know on Terra 2 for answers. I've learned the interstellar crews call the condition skip flu, and everyone I ask says that they know somebody who knows someone who had it. Extreme cases, they say the person's body and mind break down entirely. Board medics, a few who bother to reply, and says the patient was making it up to shirk their duties. I don't believe my patient was malingering, but how do I prove that the board won't even review my evidence? Excuse me, sir. What's this? What do you think you're doing? Uh, I'm looking for you. Um, nothing at all. Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? Hey, by the way, I gotta talk to you. Can't say I've seen you before. <laughs> I take it you're a freighter, Captain? Yeah, never seen me! If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Um, Wheeler told me to tell you to get off his ass about your shipment. Did he now? Mouth on that man. I swear his late mother'd be ashamed. Ashamed! He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. 
I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Um, I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. What? That's where I'd start. Where I'd I'm sorry, I thought you wanted me to go down a hallway. I didn't realize I was them. leaving and going to an Grace asteroid. Is probably crawling with outlaws. Okay. So how do I see... How do I see exactly what inventory... This ID card of Marta's security guard on Groundbreaker. More dead ID, more dead ID. I have like three of these. Why do I have so many? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to save it. What? Were you saying I said that you did you weren't saying it correctly? No, I was saying that Everyone was kind of like, I don't know anything about the game. I don't want to play it. Me, me, me. What do you think of my lady's All armor? about the game. But I was right. It was good. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. I just put that outfit on her. She looks lovely. Hi. Oh. Hello, sir. He well, has a moon for a face. Well, Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ale. Now, they do also heavily push oh, liquor in this game, which I also choice. enjoy. It's mm, that's going to make choice. me want to go get liquor. Though. Taste the freedom. Mm, freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. <laughs> Working for Spacious Choice? Ever been to Edgewater? That's where I just was. Let's see what you got for sale. I've got to ask you about the hat. I'm bound to satisfy headgear related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our consumer care headwear division. This poor man is dead inside. Yes, he you is. You doing all right in there? Oh, I'm having a stellar day. <laughs> Not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. <laughs> Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. So do most people seem unhappy in this new world, or is it just this man? <laughs> No, they're they're all very corporate. Like they're all like brainwashed, basically. This man is uh is uh he's unordinarily <laughs> depressed. Okay. I mean no one really strikes me as happy, but no one is this uh outwardly passive aggressive. But it is hilarious. Most of them don't know it's bad because they are children of the original founders. Right. Like remember right. it's been seventy years. Like this is just their life. Well, yeah, but I think you answered my question like they're not particularly happy either. Thanks, like, Korkov. They're just... Um, where can I get a hat like yours? You would never ask if you knew oh, what it's like in here. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, why oh, anyone should be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. <laughs> can, you, can you see in there? I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the Spacer's Choice catalog. <laughs> this guy sells out better than me. At a reasonable price. Yeah. Okay, acid. <laughs> How do you brush your teeth? Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat wash, mouth wash, oh. and manta floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. Okay. Okay. Thanks, man. Do you miss eating solid food? Don't miss out on these deals. You'll find none like them on all the ground. Well, it looks like his mouth opens. Why can't he eat solid food? <laughs> Don't. Do you have to sleep. <laughs> Trouble sleeping? <laughs> Try our lunar eclipse mix. Jesus. That's Two this is why this is such a great game. Like they, it feels like they really yeah, thought of everything. They put a lot of thought into it. 
The blast will send you through the stratosphere and the crash will knock you out gold guaranteed. The spacer's I... choice make you wear that. Add an additional 10% to your purchase today and the proceeds will be donated to Spacer Cares, okay. our premier corporate welfare program. At Spacer I know, choice, Brian. We care about your health and emotional I don't feel like they do. I don't think they do. We put Martin through six years of vendor school only to make him wear this hat. Okay. I'm going to go open the door. Okay. I'm sorry, Martin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you need me to help get you out of there? Even if my contract didn't forbid it, I think, uh, I think it's part of me now. Now, are you ready to make Spacer's Choice Lunar Green Moon Mouth Lozenges a part of you? Lunar Green, the future is Spearmint. I'm addressing the man beneath the mask. Are you okay? I, uh, you know, damn it. No slogan for that one. Uh, look, this hat, my job, it may not seem like much to a brave space captain, but they're all that I have. <laughs> this poor guy. If there are self-made purgatories, then we all have to live in them. Mine can be no worse than someone else's. Now, if we're done with the chit-chat, I hope you don't mind if I make the most of this short life and try to be the best moon person I can be. Dude, respect, man. Uh, would it help if I bought something? You do that? Gosh, anything to fill my daily quota. I'm gonna buy something, homie. Okay, it's gonna be okay. Uh, what, what should I buy? Uh, let's see. Dehydrated water. Buy the mask? Is that something you could do? Oh my god. Why is this one so much more exp expensive? Why is this one more expensive? Oh, because it's pristine. Okay, well, I gotta buy it. Okay, I got to. <clears throat> Did you buy his hat? You should give our latest product a try. Ollie Ollie Toxie Free. Now with activated charcoal. Don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Talk to me about the hat. Take a choice. Spacer's choice. Hey, we're wearing the same hat. See how good this game is? I got you too. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, uh, same hat. Uh, how right you are. Looks really good on you. What a snug fit on your giant head. Hope you're they very knew. happy in there. They knew, babe. You think he means it? As a consumer-facing representative of Spacer's Choice, I'm obligated to project honest testimony, including what I just said. Wear it with pride, with hope. No one can take that away from you. That's so hilarious. So that pink, I did, Goblin, I did. That pink person is not you. Who is that pink That's person? my father. That's Pavardi Cheese. Okay. Poor Pavardi. Okay, uh, we gotta go talk to the guy who impounded our ship. I got a little sidetracked there, I'm not gonna lie. Well, who wouldn't be sidetracked? Also, we're dropping frames, I apologize, chat. Hi. Can I go in here? Do, 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 do. I think I've actually already been in here. Yeah, I didn't have enough stuff. So I've got this uh, this device called the Hollow Cloak or something that okay. lets me go into restricted area if I found a key card that turns me into a person who looks like they're supposed to be in it. Okay. Modern Warfare campaign is pretty good. I haven't played a good co uh, pod campaign in a while. 
I know frames are dropping, dude. I'm sorry. Just give it some sec. Just give it a bit. You think something's downloaded on that thing? No, I usually I drop about five thousand. I mean, it's possible that Aaron turned something on and it's downloaded, but it's less likely. What? What? It, wait. Why am I going back to my ship? What do I have equipped right now? Oh, okay. That's why. Okay, we'll do this companion quest. Talk to the engineer. I usually drop sometimes, like maybe half the week, I drop 5,000 frames towards the beginning of the stream, and then it just goes back to normal. I have no idea why, but it does it. We're at uh, 4,000 right now, so hopefully it'll stop here in a second. And if it doesn't stop, then I'll go see if my son is downloading something on accident. Because he probably turned on the PS4 and there's an updated download. But it looks like we're, uh, looks like it, it's already evened out, so. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. All right, Acid, yeah, I'll see no you. No one wants you on Groundbreaker. Hey, hey, Ron. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief Junlei's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. Oh, the Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. <laughs> get him. Just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache Udon fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Okay. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to oh. the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Nope, Report never seen him. Sightings to your local board embassy. Nope, never seen him. Mm -mm. Is that you? No, that's the guy who rescued me. Oh, okay. Hello, sir. Do you sell food? Engineering. So, Pavarti is an engineer that we rescued, basically. Okay. And uh, she wants to meet this other and it engineer. All became three seven? You think they'd let me peek at the power plant? Remember Auntie Cleo, because she remembers you. Hi, lady. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Um, nice place you got here. I'm captain of the arrival, but my ship's grounded at the moment. I don't plan on staying long. Nice place you got here. No, it isn't. It's a mess, but it's my mess, so okay. I'll take the compliment. All right. Alrighty. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Um, I'll do whatever I can help me keep the peace, try not to start any fights by my dad's own. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Wow, I was going to say just passing through, but, you know, none of your bit just, pass, just passing through. Statistics don't lie. <laughs> we see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Thanks, Junlei. Pavardi, you wanted to talk to Junlei? Go ahead. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. <laughs> what can I do for you? No, it isn't! I was thinking... I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. No need to be formal. Nudge Pavardi to continue. Um, okay. <clears throat> Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later. Remember, Ooh. she's actually doing this with a moon I'd helmet on. I'd be happy on. to make the time, Pavardi. <laughs> I know, right? You can ask me anything. Pavarti, don't be shy about requesting time off. You need to compare notes in person. Slightly encourage Pavarti. I said silently. Yeah, silently. You said slightly. Wow, great. I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your, your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. <laughs> Pavarti uh, is having a rough time here. Nice job. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Um, oh, I have a terrifying picture of Bark. Okay, hold on. 
Oh my god! Acid! This is this is sibling abuse right there, okay? What kind of house are you running? Um, you like being a command? You don't have a lot of faith in the board? It's the uh, faith in the board. You're right. I don't. The board, board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Bits is money, by the way. And this ship, I guess I should point out, um, is not owned by them. Not owned by the, the board. board. It is independent. Okay. And the reason is, is because they're basically, they, they're a way station. And so, like, the board needs them to process their goods. And so, if they're, gotcha. they tried to, like, suck them up, they'd be like, well, we're just not going to process your stuff. And then the board would be screwed. So, they're basically in a symbiotic relationship. Okay. So. I play What's up, Joel? I have something to offer. But I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Okay, back to my other questions. You've got my attention. Um, it's kind of warm in here. What's going on? Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Um, why well, haven't fixed them? Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a uh, corner. You need me to go knock some heads? Certainly, the board doesn't want Groundbreaker to roast. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. Yep. The board I isn't like helping, and my resources are spread thin. It's June Lay. If I don't get those I'm radiators sorry, back Lay. online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Oh! Well, oh. that's pleasant. Is there any way I can help? I, we'd be grateful for your assistance. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Okay. Um, got it, I'll take care of that right now. Hold on, there's something you should know before you go charging off. Oh yeah? The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. No, I'm not scared of miscreants. Could we try to talk to talk this out with whoever is down there? Those idiots are immune to reason, oh, and they Matthew. don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. Makes sense. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Okay. I feel there's going to be some violence. Um. I'll talk it over with my crew. Oh no, I'll get you those parts from the back base. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Okay. <gasps> that moon helmet, man. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, let me uh, mark that. Is there something about sapphire wine? Because yes, I, I know, Goblin. I discovered that like immediately. I thought that was so cool. Regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. I want some sapphire wine. I don't know what that is, but it sounds good. Pro Xbox Craft, thank you for the host. Would someone please give Pro Xbox Craft a sub? Miracle on the frontier. Will someone please donate to the Taco Bell Fund? Korakov, that's why I wanted to play it so bad. Because I love Bioshock. Yeah, I, Bioshock this game is, is great. my favorite. No smile. <laughs> Thanks, Tattoo Blue. <laughs> hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. Dude, I will blast you. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Why do I imagine this is Cameron if Time he was to a... feed the flames. It's highly Nothing possible. Personal. Brian's the moon Promise. lady. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. You I'll see you, pro. Crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Um, oh no, I don't have enough. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Get them, boys! Here. Don't I healed. let Pavardi die! I accidentally healed. Oh, 
already have like a hammer and you have a machine gun? I gave her a machine gun. If she wants to use it. I keep hitting the wrong button, chat. Is big moon. I know. You blasted that man. Well, I would have liked to resolve that without violence, but they were all buttholes, so. You should no. have brought my phone in here so I could check the score of the K-State game. Hey, Google, what's the score of the... Well, well that's poop. It's fine. When you go BRB, I'll get it. Well, I couldn't even leave the conversation. They attacked me. Like, what I was going to do was I was going to leave the conversation and then come back when my Persuade was higher or my Intimidate was higher. Smells kind of like old but pipes. They, uh, they attacked me when I left. So, I mean, I guess I could have ran away maybe, but... So what are all the things you can level up? Like Persuade, Intimidate? Uh, just about everything. Like, there's so much stuff. Gotcha. Now I get to loot all their stuff, so I guess it could be worse. Yeah, right now I'm working on getting enough. Uh, I think I'm gonna work on whatever it is for me to get uh, to buy illegal items from vending machines. So, because there's a lot of stuff in here that like you have to hack or lockpick. Gotcha. And there's way more hack and lockpick stuff than there is the amount of lockpicks. But you can buy the resources you need to lockpick from vending machines, but you got to have a high enough skill to do it. So that's what I'm working on right now. Gotcha. Find a new friend. That backside still smarts. Does everyone get branded when they join McRed's crew? Nope. Your ass is a priceless canvas now that it's home to an original McRed. I guess I'm honored. You did uh, do that very simply. This drone is like the devil. Well, would you give up an electrical Torb Hammer? Yeah, look at this Torb Hammer, dude. Well, and you can also upgrade stuff you really like, so... Um... Electoral, it does This person, up. like, exploded. To be honest, I don't really know why. Ooh, look at this plasma cutter. Sweet. I mean, I'm Torbjorn, dude, and I'm ready to work. Zero G brew. Oh, they have like a nice little garden up here. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's too bad I murdered everybody. I would have preferred to not murder everybody, but... Yeah, you know. You win some, you lose some. I like basically take everything and then I sell it later, so... That makes sense. Yeah, it's great. I well, then if they, there happens to be something you like... Oh my god, what's that, an axe? Oh, here we go, mag pick. That's what we need to open up locked bins. Nice. And there is a weight limit in this game, but they have the ability to fast travel while encumbered. 
as an unlockable perk, which is incredible. And then they also, my weight. That's cool. They also give me enough vendors. Like, it doesn't do the thing like The Witcher where I used to hoard stuff and then the vendors would run out of money. Like, in this game, I can, like, sell as much as I want. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't sold any of my med items yet, Goblin, but... It's so cozy. Plasma. I love the look of this game. Because I'm, I'm kind of like... I don't know what all of them, if they're necessary yet, but I haven't used any of them yet either, so... I'll probably quickly do what you did and just start selling everything with the main healing items. It, this is, like, super... Plasma cool. Rifle's really strong? I know, dude. I need to try it out. This is, like, super Bioshock to me, and I love it. I love, like, this, like, kind of steampunky... Mm-hmm. Vibe. Yeah, it looks great. Huh? Incoming! I'm out! Reloading! I know, right? Like, this game does a really great job of being an RPG. Hey. Without, like, doing all the annoying, tedious stuff that some RPGs make you do. All right, chat, I just got some perk points, so this is your last chance to guess in the Wiggies if you have oh, not yet. Crud, I didn't guess. No, I don't have my phone! I'll give up. Just tell me what you guess, babe. My guess is 36. Okay, it's a terrible guess, but okay. I don't know. Huh, haven't seen any new faces down here since I arrived. Did Not you know that I sure killed everybody? Go that was. Let me do that. Like do you do you Matt do you Matt incinerate anyone who comes by? Yeah, I just killed everybody. McRed's dead. I didn't say anything bad. No, oh, that's too bad. I mean, he was a scary fucker, total pyromaniac, but she has you know a body how mouth. it is. You meet a guy, get used to his quirks, and then blam. Came to grab some radiator parts. Engineering could use your help installing them. I'll get back to my post. See you topside, stranger. All right, see you, nerd. See, I could use my parts to pick this, but I don't know if it's actually any good. Yeah, that kind of stinks. But if you had, like, a bunch well, of parts, it wouldn't matter. You could just... Correct. Yeah, exactly. I would loot them all. Yep. Because we all know what your favorite thing Steel is. Steel Petey? What's Petey, babe? I don't know. Is Petey a thing? Like a person? An animal? Just raided the fridge, just like real life. Petey's an ornament for your ship? See, I didn't even know those were things yet. That's awesome. Like, I think there's so much depth in this game. Like, I could literally, I feel, play this game for the next month. We can keep playing it on Saturdays. Babe, there's so many games coming out. I know. But not next Saturday. Well, I mean, kinda. Luigi's Mansion comes out Thursday. Oh, okay. I wouldn't be able to be here the whole time anyway. Go, go get a bridesmaid's dress. Chad, if you ever want to feel bad about yourself, go try on bridesmaid's dresses. It's a real great way to do it. Yeah, but think of how much weight you're going to have lost by the time the wedding comes around. Think about how all of them are tight on your stomach, and they're all designed to make you look uglier than the bride. Jesus. It's fine. She's letting us choose, so at least that's good. Also, if I lose a lot of weight by the wedding, that means I'm going to have to get it altered. It's crazy to think, Ron, because I'm like, yeah, dude, I'd love to do that if I had time, my spare time. But I do, because this is on Game Pass. I basically own this game. Yeah, yeah it's gonna nice. going to be pleased as pie when we show her these. Korkov, but I don't want to try on dresses. I don't either, Korkov. See, if I wouldn't have opened that one downstairs, I could have opened this door. Yeah, that stinks. Is it like pretty like you can come back to places like pretty Yeah, open? tattoo, it's on game it's on Game Pass. This is Well, yeah, of course I could come back, yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't know like if you leave this area and don't really 
I know I have level up points. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I think I've looted everything. Yeah, it's really nice that this is on Game Pass and we didn't have to rent it because then you can play it for like, you can keep coming back to it if you wanted. Okay, I don't remember which one I was whenever. supposed to get. I think it was... Um... It's in dialogue. Coward duration. That's not it. Lie. Yeah, tattoo. Game Pass is doing a thing where like a lot of new games are coming like to Game Pass, and you can get them the day they come out on Game Pass. Pickpocket. Unlock restricted vending items and machines. It's this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna level that one up right now. I gotta get up to... Uh, I gotta do one more. Yeah, Game Pass is well worth it. Well worth it. Okay, my guess was obviously terrible. Because you just set the wiggies to 10. Yeah, because even if it's, like, just a couple of the new games that come out, even though it's not every single game, it's still way worth the money. Because this game is, like, $60 to buy, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's a full-price game. I think... I think I'm going to do the time one, Slow the World. I think this is a game I would like to play sometime. I mean, there's also a... This game has something that I really enjoy. <laughs> right. Which is... It has a story difficulty. So, like, if you don't uh, want to do all the difficult combat... Or your bad. Also, look at that pig, Chris. Oh, my God. Um, you so don't have chunky. to. Which is great. Yeah, that's cool. I'd actually need to get worse Slayer in order to make her... Her guess. Did you see what I did, Brian... Goblin? I I was accidental. It's actually the. Is it my is it my Instagram clip from yesterday? No, it's not. It's not. But I did clip it when I ran into it because they snuck up on me and I pooped my pants. Yeah, I was actually sniping people at a uh, Marauder camp, and then I started getting hit from behind, and I'm like, "What is happening?" And then I turn around, and there's one right in my face. And you may find this shocking, but I screamed like a goat. Mm, I don't find that shocking. <laughs> I find that pretty par for the course. All right, lady, I fixed it. You've returned, and in one piece. Color me impressed. Yeah, everyone's dead, though. Um, I got the parts for the radiator. What? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight mantipillar infestation. Oh, mantipillars. That sound great. Define slight. Okay. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle How with you. How are you ship. this morning, You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. You get the giant shock cannon? I honestly have no idea. I need to probably look at my inventory more often. Um, okay, so what do we got here? Plasma rifle, 71 DPS. Magazine size 40. So it's it's an it's an AR. Hey, are you gonna judge me if I if I eat something on stream? No, baby. Cause I just had time to eat my sandwich. So I'm going to eat some peaches. Okay. Add to junk. Flamethrower? Ooh. <laughs> what? Junk. Um, I might give that to her. Axe. Assault rifle. Okay. 
Montang. It's a heavy weapon. 38 damage, 50 magazine. Plasma. Interesting. Okay. Um, what am I currently wearing? Six armor. Nine. Nine. Ooh, put on the pretty pink armor. Okay. What's my helmet? 17. Yeah, I'll keep my helmet then. Um... Sell, sell, sell. Goggles. How do I look, babe? Beautiful. Um, I've never had a problem getting ammo. It seems to be very abundant. Purple berry juice. Mm. I like the juice. <laughs> Give me a fave. When it's in wine form, yeah. Yeah, they made it really easy, so if you don't feel like looting, you could still get stuff. Which, again, it's just they they really thought of everything, which I just love. That they, they made it so, like, if you don't want to do these difficult looting, like, if you're lazy, you just want to play through it quick and get through the story, you can. Yeah, Monster was saying that yesterday, Tattoo, that it looked like Borderlands a bit. Archived, logged, and transmissions. Two HHB Earth HQ transmitted via probe to arrive at source. My honor report that the Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange Point, having released our cargo of prefab housing, shelters, and supplies of their intended colony worlds. May they prosper and expand. Now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as specified in our contract, keeping the ship on active duty as an independent trading post, repair shop, and cargo bay. If I'd, I'd, I'd be remiss if I closed the transmission on sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. A stern reminder. Some very rigid, unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and a Spacious Choice logo stand on my ass. It was about a nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no rule in success or failure of Halcyon's corporate entities, period. I negotiated that understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to Tennyson. We are a family operation. Even if the last Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend our freedom accordingly. There you go. Okay, I'm turning off my fan. It's hot or it's cold in here. Did she just see my eyes? Yes. I'm sure she's fine. My eyes. I'm sure she's fine. What happened? She's got a giant moon helmet on. Are you? Uh, babe. She's fine. Uh, babe. She's fine. She's fine. She just needs to rest a little bit. She'll be fine. I guess we'll come back blind. Here we go. See? Got him. Don't mess with her. She's fine. She's wearing oh, she's wearing an outfit. Me. She's fine. She's fine. Ow. Yeah, she's good. She just needed to rest. This song tells me the security mechanics ended up they killed a bunch of mantis. Oh, good. Diagnostic says their circuit boards are fused from the heat, so they're not too picky about who they kill next. Great. Not good news. Perfect. Okay, I ate those peaches. She said sneak if you can. And then I drank coffee. Peach coffee. Not a good flavor. Unexpected. Not beginning. Sneak if you can, they say. Can ya? 
Yeah, I'm very sneaky. Oh, yeah? You're not very sneaky in real life. Setting actions. System. Eyes up! Sneaky. That was more like just straight on attack. Well, he was right by the door, so what was I supposed to do? Master of sneak over There's here. There's a man over there. See, he saw nothing. Oh. That moon right. helmet is so sneaky. He sees me! Say it's all good. Sneaky. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that could trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Plasma weak. Getting burned too many times has made you subject to a plasma damage. But I get a perk point from it. What you gonna do? Accept or reject? I'm going to reject it. 25% is a lot. I honestly have no idea how you're supposed to sneak through here, but... It's because you're not sneaky. That's the terminal. I have the parts in position on my side. I mean, that Go was ahead. kind I of cute. <laughs> Poor Bjorn! Ready to burn. Good one, baby. The burn was not the best. Cannot use while in combat. Well, I'm not in combat. I killed everybody. Cycle droplet pumps. Non-expendable personnel must exit the maintenance shaft before activating the cycling protocol. That's horrible. The temperatures are dropping. Welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Come on, Pavarti. She's tired. She's been burned a lot today. That he that helmet is heavy. <laughs> she looks great, babe. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. You're welcome. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. Thanks. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. It's me. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. That's good. What's it like being in command around here? All right, leave. <laughs> okay, so... I keep getting these bit cartridges. I think I use them for money. I don't know if they actually give me bits right away or if they're stockpiled. I think I think they give them to me right away. Hmm. Hmm. I think so. Frozen dinner? <laughs> What's in it? Uh, made of a variety of types. The most popular is fried chicken, Ooh. mashed spectrum potatoes, Ooh. spiced mock apples. Mm. Although the Borst Loaf dinner is a close number two in all respects. Base health plus 25%. It's not the best dinner. It's Spacer's Choice frozen dinner. I 
I mean, fried chicken and potatoes sounds good. Mm, KFC. Babe. Babe. Hey, I'm sorry, you I'll stop talking those about radiators? food. We're yes. Good. Nice work. You really saved our buns. Whenever you're free, let's have a chat. Okay, what's up? You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. What do you mean? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. Oh, so their their radio's We're breaking? We're offline in three, what? two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Okay. Hmm. Um, why are you about to lose them? Our em? primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. Oh. The events forecasted to last for months. During which we'll lose signal to the station. Okay. Gotta put the whole system in a right dire situation. Thanks, Pavardi. We've got backup Pavardi's auxiliary so relays, helpful. but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. There's a lot of things going wrong on this ship. Sounds like it's time for me to get the auxiliary station yeah, back online. I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the what chief. a jerk! I could check the relay. No need for official sign-off. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure oh, out. Oh, I gotta travel somewhere. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully, we'll, well get yeah, lucky, or I'll get my said approval in it time. It wasn't here. Hope you don't mind if I, I thought borrow you meant that like manual in this when room. you're done with it, Captain. I could do with you think they reading? have to sign off to go to the oh, next and I'll need room you to over? Retrieve a copy I don't know, babe. It's very bureaucratic. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? What falling apart? The relay Dr. stations Slayer? orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Okay, I'm off. See you, nerd. Okay, what quest am I currently doing? Taco! Hey, what's up, man? How you been? Travel to Relay, find Captain... Uh... Oh, find Captain... Uh... That's a planet, I think. Okay. Return to the Unreliable and ask Pavardi about Junlei. All right. Find an acid steeper. Okay, I think I'm ready for the main quest then. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Taco Truck. So he's busy. Yeah, right? Yep. Doing 600 things. Yep. He's got his big Thanksgiving thing coming over. Aww. He's gonna post pictures. Of